from used and abused Berber carpet to new and improved nylon. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Nick with Gold Coast Flooring, and man, today was a long day, but here is the job I took care of today. I got to remove some old Berber carpet in a living room, dining room, L-shaped kind of scenario, and a set of stairs, and replace it with some nylon, a pattern style nylon. So this is just the before, before I ripped out the old pad, I already took out the carpet and rolled it up. And these are the steps I'm working with. It's supposed to be a waterfall, but it's definitely kind of loose. And this little part, I'm going to be hammering some tack strip in to the tile transitions. And for some reason, carpet installers do not like my hatchet. I don't know why. I've gotten multiple comments on it. Um, I really only use it to hammer in concrete nails. The extra weight from the hatchet itself is great and it's an awesome tool and I actually bought it at my carpet store so I guess they're just hatchet haters anyways moving on I didn't get a lot of footage on this job but here you can see I have all the padding um, taped in at the seams and glued into the concrete and I'm gonna get the carpet ready to start seaming in and then I'm gonna power stretch everything in and this is just a quick time lapse showing how I get the padding on the steps um, the padding, the previous padding was actually waterfalled throughout the whole step and there was tack strip on the riser. I went ahead and pulled everything off because I'm going to do a Hollywood style step where it wraps around the bullnose. And this is the end result after everything is seamed, power stretched in, tucked. And this job took a little longer than usual because they had some um, audio wire running around the tack strip and underneath the padding and also the baseboard had like grooves in it so you can't just pack it when it's like that you actually have to take your time and kind of squeeze it and work it in so it's it's little things like this that you don't really know until you pull the carpet up and then you're like dang you know <laughs> so it is what it is it just takes a little more time um, I'm not the kind of person that sees that and adds it onto the bill because neither me or the homeowner knows that so I just end up explaining to the customer that it's going to take a little bit more time. So I didn't get to get a lot of after video because it was getting dark already and I just really wanted to get on but here's some after pictures that was of the living room this is the dining room. This is the top view from the steps after I was almost finishing up. And here's the before again of the steps. You can see the waterfall, it's really loose. And here is Hollywood style after wrapping the carpet around the bullnose. And you can see it looks super flush. So overall, everything on this job turned out really nice. Um, I'm especially happy with the steps and it took me about most of the whole day just because little things pop up and if you're a carpet installer you know little things take the most time to deal with and I really 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 like to make sure the job is done right so I take my time on every job so thanks for watching everyone I'll see you on the next one